Assessing Debt Capacity. In this section, we're going to look at how much leverage a business can handle. The two main measures are going to be by looking at the balance sheet and looking at cash flow measurements. These two will determine how much debt a business can handle in an M&A transaction. So in order to assess the level of debt capacity, we'll be looking at the EBITDA, and not just the level of EBITDA, but the volatility or rather stability of that EBITDA. And that's influenced by several things. It's influenced by industry cyclicality, technology and barriers to entry being the three main measures of stabilizing EBITDA. So cyclical businesses like mining, for example, have a lot less debt capacity than very stable businesses like food businesses. Technology businesses that can be easily disrupted or low barriers to entry, again, have lower debt capacity than, say, long-term infrastructure projects that have very high barriers to entry and are unlikely to be disrupted by technology. So let's take a look at the balance sheet measures that can help us assess the amount of debt a business can handle. The first ratio that we will look at is the debt to equity. This tells us just a high level capital structure overview. Taking the book value of debt to equity, however, can have a few complications from time to time, as things like acquisitions, goodwill, and impairments can all influence the book value of equity compared to the market value of equity. In terms of cash flow metrics, debt to EBITDA is probably the most common. We can break that down further to look at the senior debt to EBITDA ratio or subordinated debt to EBITDA ratios. And we can also look at the cash interest coverage. Cash interest coverage tells us how many times the cash flow that's generated from the business can service the interest expense that's on the debt. Another metric that's getting close to cash flow is taking the EBITDA and deducting capital expenditures. Looking at how many times this metric, EBITDA minus CapEx, covers our interest expense. So at the end of the day, lenders want comfort that the amount of cash flow generated from the business can easily cover the interest expense and ultimately cover the principal repayments that are required as well. Typically, lenders will look at a combination of balance sheet measures and cash flow measures when assessing a company's total debt capacity.